Hi everybody, it's Ed Lyons and today I am at Sporting Targets in Risley in Bedfordshire and this is a little unboxing video of the new Pillar of the Raptor frame which I mentioned in the brief video about the new Top Gun Outlaw video which I think I'll try and link somewhere in, uh, in this little video series. So the Raptor is a new dual lens product that Pillar have just brought out. Um, this can be worn as a ready-to-wear product, so people who don't need prescription glasses, uh, there's a really comprehensive lens section. Uh, you can also use them as prescription glasses too if you want. So we can have the full lens here, made to prescription, or you can have a specialist insert which goes into the top. Now the insert for the Raptor is different to those for the Outlaw and the, uh, the Outlaw X6 and Outlaw X7, so that insert should be with us very soon. Uh, and I'll do a little insert video uh, just going through the different products with the different um, different styles. Um, so yeah, uh, it comes in three different formats with a classic fork side on here. Uh, it also comes in cable, so for those of us who want a firmer fitting, this fits nice and tightly around the ears. Um, for people with bigger heads who don't really like the feel of the forks or they don't like the sort of pressure of the cables on the ears, we've got these bayonet acetate temples. So three different styles really, based on how you want them to fit. Now, <clears throat> if we just have a little look at how they sit on. Okay, so first impressions are pretty good. Uh, you don't get as much coverage in this sort of thing as you would in the Outlaw, but that's not, not what it's designed to be for, really. Um, the floating lens is quite nice. You've got plenty of room, so it's less likely to steam up. Uh, the saddle bridge is good. So this is the new saddle bridge here. Um, again, I mentioned this on the Top Gun video. I think Pillar have moved away from the little individual push-on pads, which is good because they tend to fall out, which is mega annoying. These, these are classic uh, optical saddle bridges. So if and when you do lose one of these, you can just get your normal optician to replace them rather than them having to come in from Italy. Um, so again, fully vented, floating lenses there, and it does look a fair bit bigger than the old 580 style. I do have the 580 here, um, so if I pop one of the 580 lenses out, which is this, and if we pop the Raptor lens out, like that, to take them out, you've got these little notches on the nasal and temporal sides, and then you've got these little pins here, again, uh, nasal temporal, you just simply push, stretch, and click. So that's quite a nice positive fitting. Again, um, seems a little bit more positive than on the 580 series. So they do look quite similar in size, um, again a little bit of force perspective there possibly. The, the top gun lens is bigger, so if we overlay them you can see here that you've got probably a few mil on that sort of horizontal axis where the lens is a little bit bigger. That's good from a non-prescription perspective because you've got more coverage. From a prescription angle, it might be a bit of a nuisance. Um, we at Flint and Partners, my optometry practice, we are the sort of UK uh, distributors, manufacturers actually for the prescription products for Pillar. So we are going to start making some of these. We've got quite a few orders that have come in already following my little Facebook post. Um, <clears throat> we're going to <laughs> just trying to uh, pause in between the gunshots going up. Makes the video nice and authentic though. Um, we are going to have a few little experiments with different prescriptions to see exactly how much plus or how much minus we can get out of this sort of thing. My initial thoughts are probably going to be about mm, plus or minus two, so not enormous, whereas we can get plus or minus three out of these. And in the 540, uh, again there's a video that I've done on prescription shooting glasses, which again I'll try and link to. Uh, in the 540 we can do much bigger prescriptions, and in the Randolph Ranger Sporter example we've done up to plus nine and minus thirteen, so that's good for monster prescriptions. Um, I'd imagine lots of people are going to want to wear this as a non-prescription product though. And the lens selection that Pillar have made is actually really comprehensive. So this is just one box of lens tints. We have another box here and just going through this little box here you've got all of the the classics so you've got the 19 CIN which is that lovely nice new almost red iridium type purple lens uh, you've got the 26 CIED you've got the 29 CIMX so I think there's 17 different lens colors in this platform now so um, they generally come as a five lens set they're not the cheapest, so I think with this new technology, a five lens set, including your frames and the case, is going to be about 795 but then the equivalent in an Outlaw these days, um, particularly the Top Gun, a five lens set is going to be up in the door about a thousand quid, so they are a little bit less expensive than the equivalent in the Outlaws, and they do have all of the brand new tints. 
Um, whereas things in the 580s, they only actually made eight lenses for that and they weren't using the, the classic sort of pillar lens tints for those. Whereas this one, everything is really comprehensive. So the next video I'm going to do um, is probably a shorter one, you'll be glad to know, um, and this will be about going through the different lens colours which are available in both the Outlaw X6 and Outlaw X7 series. Um, I get lots of people asking me what lens colours they should buy, and sometimes people end up with lens tints which are too similar, and that just means that depending on different light levels, um, they haven't necessarily chosen the right series. So I'll go through all of the sunny day lenses, the medium lenses, the low light lenses, and I'll put together some of my favourites. Um, um, I'll also group together some lenses which will be useful for the trap shooters, for the sporting shooters and also those who've got any of that red-green colour deficiency that again we've talked about on previous videos. So um, these are all in stock, we've got I think 20 kits at the moment, so um, five, six, seven of which are already spoken for, so if you do want to get your hands on some of these pillar raptors, uh, drop me a line and we can sort something out for you. Obviously, if you want more than five lenses, you can have more than five lenses. If you want fewer, I'm sure we can uh, trim that down a little bit if you just want to uh, to do something which is a little bit less expensive. Um, drop me a line. Any, any questions, drop them in the comments. Please like and share and subscribe to keep abreast of new developments as always. And uh, watch out for new videos. Cheers. Bye-bye.